Hiya, Francesca here from Palooka Salon. I thought I would do another review of John Renault's very fabulous and very popular a Rachel wig, which is a lovely um, medium to long, I would say kind of long, wavy style with a kind of slightly uh, shorter fringe around the front. Um, I am wearing her in uh, one of the Arctic colours and that colour is Frost which is the pinkier tone of the Arctic range. So it has that white with the pink overtones and that darker shaded root. Um, so it is FS60 PKS18 here. So you have that darker root and those white, pink, beautiful bubblegum pink tones there. Um, she is a fully hand tied, synthetic, smart lace front, full mono top, She's beautiful. Um, I also have two other colours um, which I would like to talk about. And I have um, Beautiful Brown, that is the six. Um, there you go, John Renault Synthetic Six. I do find it on the darker side of a six. Um, I wear the John Renault Human Hair, Gwyneth, uh, and you'll see that in some of my other reviews. And you'll see that, that for a four, um, that's a four, sorry, it's a four RN, and that actually feels like it's almost similar, if not lighter than that. So do kind of kind of look at that and kind of pay attention to how those different colours do come up. But as you can see, this six here is quite a dark brown. It does have some kind of lighter tones to it. It's got, a, in certain lights, it feels like a lighter brown. I mean, I absolutely love it as a, as a dark brown tone. For me, with a bit of an Italian skin tone and an Italian vibe, it's my go-to um, brown six. It feels like it's got enough um, warmth to it um, and it's dark enough to kind of go with my slightly paler Italian, somewhat not Mediterranean skin tone. That's what living in the UK does. Um, so I do absolutely love this colour um, if you are just looking for a brown brown. Um, then I have, I also have her in this really absolutely gorgeous um, shaded praline, 12 FS8. So you have a shaded eight, so the shaded tone in the root is that eight brown, and you've got a mix of kind of golden. Uh, this is a golden blonde, it's not an ash. Shaded Praline has that golden yellowy tones. It does have a, have a mix there, but it's a warm, warm blonde, as you can see. Yeah, it's a really beautiful colour. Um, kind of going through there. It does have two blondes, a kind of lighter, have a look there. Absolutely gorgeous blonde. Um, so whilst I've still got her in my hands, I will talk to you about the cap. I'm, you know, I, I don't often see myself in these kind of light white tones. That I, I have often have to take a double take, but I must say I do really like it. Um, I like a shaded root. You know, bright white doesn't tend to work for me, but if it has that shade, it tends to break that up and give it a bit of interest and there's so many fashion colours uh, coming out at the moment that you've got to just have fun with them haven't you so she's wonderful I do I, you know I do like this this fringe bit here because it's really light it's not thick at all but I'm digressing here so cat so John Renault's uh, smart lace collection so um, and it's a hand tied so we've talked about that mono top here which means that you can part her um, in any direction in this area here so I can move that wherever I want and it gives you um, lots of scope and versatility when you're styling as well so if you have that mono part you tend to be a bit more restricted so for me it's got to be that um, so you have that welded lace front hand tied yeah there's a stretch in the back there, velvet nape, velcro adjusters, so that can be tightened or loosened as you need to, um, and then the velvet ear tabs. 
Um, I tend to have a slightly on the petite side head. This actually fits quite well. I tend to get a teeny bit, if I pinch back here, I've got probably about a centimetre of bunching. It doesn't make any difference to how it looks, but just so, there is some give there. I, like I said, I'm slightly on the petite side, so I do feel like it is a true to size. If you measure your head, and there are guides on our website in terms of how to measure your head correctly, if you fit within that average sizing, these will fit you well. Um, but again, they can be customised as well, kind of to pull them in a little bit. And that's what these tab uh, adjusters are for. Okay, so that is our cap. I'll talk to you about the lengths as well. So I will just pop these down. So actually, how fabulous is that? Which one do we like? I mean, I must say, this, this feels like me. I don't feel like I uh, suit the golden tones, but you might disagree. I'm quite enjoying this. Right, I'm going to pop these ladies down. So, lengths. So Rachel um, comes in an average cap, so she's not available in a petite or a large, so just that average cap. Um, and we have this fringe here, it's saying seven. So it does come just past here, but it is, it's, I will say it is feathered, so there are shorter bits. Yeah, so let me just pull a bit there. You can see, so I just want to point that out. So if anybody really doesn't like to have any shorter bits, it, it's really light. So it can be styled out and pushed back. I haven't, I mean, it's still got the zigzag in, so I haven't done anything to it, but a bit of piece out contour cream. i smooth that back. It's enough to pin. It won't tuck behind the ear, but it kind of tucks if you feel that that's not ideal. So, but I think it's really nice. It gives a really nice shape to it. So that's the seven. So the crown length, <clears throat> 50. Sides from these ear of tabs, 15. Nape, 10. So 10 from that nape there. So I really like this length. Let's just pull this around. Yeah. Um, ever so slightly, a long, long layer at the back, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, there is. Um, and these really gorgeous waves. Yeah, really beautiful waves. Um, you can comb through them. They do tend to loosen up. After you wash them, a good tip um, to maintain the curls is when you're drying, you get, sorry, let me just grab this, you get always get a net with your wigs and I always when I'm drying um, the curlier wigs or the wavy wigs I will put that net either double wrap it depending on how long it is uh, of a curl and it just holds it up a little bit um, so that though the the weight of the water and the drying the wet doesn't pull and drag those curls down so it does tend to hold it in place Little bit like a bra for your curls holds them up in place okay so that is the absolutely wonderful Rachel can't keep this one but I want to have a great day